Hi, my name is Jared Wiener, Executive Vice President here at Solar Roof Hook. And I'm Samantha Dalton, the Marketing Director. And today we have a very exciting topic for you. We're going to be introducing the most recent innovation in solar roof flashing technology, micro flashing. We're going to demonstrate how our patented quick bolt mounting system for asphalt shingle roofs uses micro flashing technology to cut your mounting hardware costs in half and installation time by two thirds. But to truly understand micro flashing and all of its benefits, let's first take a look back at how residential roof flashing has evolved over time. We have here traditional aluminum flashing. This is what most installers picture in their heads when we talk about flashing. Most of the flashing innovations in the past 30 years have been slight improvements on this design. It's usually around nine by 12 inches or larger, depending on the manufacturer. The aluminum is shaped to fit around a piece of mounting hardware, such as an L-foot or a U-foot. It is installed by lifting the shingles and inserting the flashing underneath. Now this is important because to lift the shingles, nails must be removed. Samantha will touch on that later. The aluminum flashing works by redirecting water runoff on a pitched roof away from the penetration made by the mounting hardware. It's then secured to the roof by either the weight of the roofing material or by nailing the flashing onto the roof. It's malleable, cost-effective, and lightweight, and it can be cut to fit different roofing setups. However, lifting the roofing shingles requires removing existing nails. The IBC states that asphalt shingle roofs must have the minimum number of nails as required by the roofing manufacturer. Because most roofers only use the minimum number of nails, removing any nails to install flashing may not be code compliant. Removing nails can also void the roofing warranty. Many installers choose to nail down this type of flashing for security, creating more penetrations in the roof. At Solar Roof Hook, we specifically design products to reduce the number of penetrations on a roof. The sheets of aluminum are large, bulky, require a lot of shipping materials, and are hard to manage on the roof, especially if it's a high wind area. This is important because in high wind areas, this malleable aluminum flashing can sometimes be bent upwards, causing the security of the flashing to be compromised. Somewhere along the 1980s, Flashing began being offered in galvanized steel. This is a much more rigid material than aluminum. It won't bend or misshape in the wind. Installers can feel a little bit more comfortable using this in high wind areas. The rigidity of the galvanized steel makes it easier to install because it can be quickly slid underneath the shingles without meeting any resistance. The problem is it can't be cut, limiting how close together mounts can be installed. Lastly, it's heavier, which means more trips up and down the ladder for installers. Aluminum or galvanized steel flashings were pretty much the only options until the early 2000s. In 2008, the industry combined aluminum flashing with rubber EPDM, leading to the introduction of rubber bushed flashing. The rubber bushing is inserted into an opening in the aluminum flashing where the roof penetration is made. It seals against the mount to keep water from entering the penetration. Rubber bush flashing is installed in almost the same way as the two previous flashings, except after lifting the shingles and inserting the flashing underneath, the mount is driven into the roof and the rubber bushing is compressed to create a watertight seal between the flashing and the mount. The biggest improvement made by rubber bush flashing is that it provides a truly watertight seal and does not depend solely on redirecting water to keep the penetration from leaking. Unfortunately, it still has many of the same downsides that previous flashing methods carry. And it's one of the most expensive flashing methods out there. Elevated flashing was introduced into the industry in 2012. It is also made of aluminum and features a raised section located above the roof penetration, keeping water from running directly over the penetration. It is installed in the same way as the others and therefore has the same issues of breaking code voiding warranties, ruining and replacing shingles, and creating more penetrations with nails. It is also bulky, heavy, and expensive. But now, there's finally a solution to all of these installation issues. Micro flashing. With a three or four inch diameter, micro flashing is much smaller than these traditional flashing methods. Micro flashing is part of our patented quick bolt which uses a special hanger bolt to drive down and compress the washer onto the roof, 
creating a 100% watertight seal. Microflashing is installed very differently than the other flashings we have talked about. It is placed directly over the shingles and the bolt is driven into the joist. That's it, no lifting of the shingles. Microflashing can be installed in less than a minute, making it the fastest installation time of any flashing or mounting system. This saves installers time and allows them to commit to and complete more jobs. Microflashing is also fully code compliant and has a 25 year warranty. No more worrying about voiding roof warranties, replacing shingles, leaky roofs, cutting steel, or trips up and down the ladder with heavy materials. Furthermore, the Quick Bolt, along with Solar Roof Hook's entire product line, is UL certified, meaning you don't have to take our word for it. The Quick Bolt is a certified flashing solution. Microflashing is quickly becoming the most popular flashing method in America. For more information on the evolution of residential roof flashing, you can view our webinar on our website, solarroofhook.com. You can also find all product specification and testing data, along with more free resources on our website as well. Thanks for watching. Thanks.